YTPC YouTubers. Good afternoon, Ghost Cobb and Macy. Macy's taking a nap. Here to do a VR on this last day of Cigar Smoking Vets 2. The Deuce. Guys, if you haven't done the VR or the I'm in, you got to go over there and get it done. Just go over there, hit the little arrow, drop down on the root cellar. The name and the link will be there. Hit them up. Give them a sub if you're not already subbed. Great folks they are. Drinking a little lemonade today in the Bearded Assassins. A little Numa Coffee. JWK2366. Dr. Grant Paul's Cobbs. And I added this one because I love this one. Ready? Nice chops. <laughs> love it. It was funny. I thought it was any words. So, Mr. Matt and the lovely Duchess of Cigarello asked for uh, a little something about where we live. Now, where I was born is about an hour from where I am now. Um, nothing really important about that. Um, I consider home to be Pittsburgh. That's where my heart is. Um, that's where all of my, majority of my good childhood memories are there. Um, the family still owns the farm and everything. So um, that's where I consider home. Uh, it's just coal mining up there, but now I'm located about 15 minutes away from the Gettysburg Battlefield. Um, and if y'all don't know anything about Gettysburg Battlefield or Gettysburg in general, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Um, you're obviously not a history buff. Um, <laughs> but, um, Gettysburg here where the battle was fought from July 1 to July 3 in 1863. Um, of course, one of the, arguably one of the best presidents that we've ever had, Mr. Abraham Lincoln, traveled here and um, gave the Gettysburg Address. Uh, what a wonderful uh, piece of history that is. Um, one of the trees that he passed is still standing today. In fact, a piece of that wood is in my tamper that was made for me by none other than the Uncle Butter. Right there's a little piece of the witness wood. That's what they call it. Um, so, you know, that's all happened here in Gettysburg. Um... One of the one of the uh, things is is this battle was for like I said from July one to July three, and there were over forty six thousand casualties in those days. Um, it's just remarkable how many deaths and how horrible it was here at that time. But you go there today, and they've slowly been, they've restored as much as they could back the way it was. And as, like, some places go out of business, they try to buy the property, they tear down the thing, and then they make it to where, it, to look like what it looked like back in those days. Um, if it was a field, they put a field in. If it was uh, trees, they put a bunch of trees in through the Arbor Day Foundation. And, um... 
that's how they, they do things here. Now, a little fun fact about Gettysburg Battlefield, excuse me, that a lot of people don't know is a lot of people say that it's super haunted. It, it is haunted. Um, I will say that. It is certainly haunted. It's been documented throughout. Um, but... One of the most popular calls that our park rangers get here at the battlefield is for campfires. They say that they can see fire from a distance. And I, I don't doubt that. Because even the park rangers, that I've, I've talked to a couple park rangers over the years, and um, it, it's kind of weird because, like... When you talk to them, you know, he said that, and one of them even said to me, you know, I, I thought I've seen a campfire and, you know, it wouldn't surprise us that there was somebody trying to live on the property or something. So, um, you know, they go and they investigate it and they see the smoke or they see the fire from a distance. But when they get there and obviously they know the, they know the battlefield like the back of their hand. Uh, they have to know the property and they get there and there's no fire. It's just like one of the coolest things about the battlefield, I think. It's just very interesting how so many people can see that from a distance, but yet when they get there, there's nothing. So um, very, very interesting to uh, to see that or hear that. Um, I haven't had that experience yet. Um, but um, it's just very cool to hear people's, you know, especially the park rangers because they're there all the time. So when they say something, you know it's not just some story to sell something. You know, it's like Fred, Fred Uncle Butter, his dad used to say, you know, a hundred years later, after the war, and the dead are still supporting the town, and they are. Here we are over 150 years, and the dead are still supporting us. Because people come in by the drives. Drives of people come in here in September, and October, and November for ghost things. It, it's insane. It is absolutely insane how many people come in for that stuff. But it's a good thing for us, and we appreciate it. And um, it's always really cool to take a couple in ourselves, you know, and even as locals, we enjoy that stuff. Um, I've taken the tour of the Jenny Wade house, which was the only civilian killed during the battle. Um, and uh, I've taken a tour of that house probably five times, if not more. And uh, Christy and I really enjoy that place. And um, it's just really cool how even though you take it as many times as you do as a local, you still seem to really enjoy it. And you always seem to learn something new because each of the tour guides just has a different way of doing things. So um, that's a really cool thing. If you're interested in that, I very highly suggest you look her up, Miss Jenny Wade. Um, I have paid my respects to her numerous times at her grave. Um, we've taken flowers uh, to her as well. Um, you know, uh, it, it's just, it, it's pretty wild to see something so crazy happen to a town and rebound and uh, prosper from it so much. Um, but it's a huge part of American history, and uh, we embrace it here. Um, the Gettysburg Battlefield has made it very clear that under no circumstances will they ever take down any of the monuments, Confederate-wise, because some people are offended by them. They're just going to have to stay off the premises because they're going to stay. And we, knock on wood, have been very fortunate that no one... Now, basically, that was me. That was me. Um, that no one has tried to deface 
a serious part of the property as well. So we've been very fortunate in that hand as well. Um, but our park rangers do a fantastic job here keeping it safe and keeping it clean. Um, and it's just a great place to visit. So if y'all are ever down in these parts, I very highly suggest you look up old Ghost Cobb in the battlefield and uh, take a tour because it's fantastic. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. It's gorgeous. So, um, Matt, the lovely Duchess of Cigarello, thank you so much for the opportunity. I am so humbled to uh, be able to be a part of this. Um, our community, uh, the VRs, the the Gauls in general, um, the camera, the I can I cannot say that word, the fellowship and the friends, all that stuff. <laughs> See, I'm going to skip that word altogether because I ain't going to make a fool of myself trying to say it. <laughs> but any words, thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. And until we can get together and pack a pipe. Or smoke a good cigar. Let all what you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless. Don't forget to visit Cigar Smoking Vets too. The Deuce. Links in the uh, root cellar. Y'all take care. <laughs>